At the beginning of the film, two genetic engineers come on the scene. They were married. Husband's name was Clive, while wife's name was Elsa. Actually, they were both genetic engineers, such engineers who create the new creatures while experimenting. It means they may create the new animal or creature while crossing the DNA of two creatures. They used to work for a pharmaceutical company, and the company's name was Nucleic Exchange Research and Development, and the job of both Clive and Elsa was to mix the DNA of two animals first, which creates a new animal, and they used to create the medicine of the different diseases by the animal's protein. They had also created a new type of animal currently, which was male and had a unique look. And they have also created the same animal before, which was female. Now they bring both animals in front of each other, and both animals meet with each other affectionately. Actually, both animals were feeling good in presence of each other. It means that their experiment had succeeded. Observing it, they both move to the head of the company. They tell her, we have created this new type of animal while mixing the DNA of several animals, and we can create the medicine of different diseases through this protein, and we have also invented a new technique along with it, that we can generate a hybrid while crossing the DNA of animal and a human. It is clear that we can create the medication of different diseases. Their head tells that company is satisfied what has been experimented by you, and your statement of mixing the DNA of animal and human, the company management will not consent for this right now, and company thinks to create the medication from the protein of your created animals, so it will be focused on making medicine, stopping the process of research. Clive and Elsa say that others will start it if we do not take initiatives. The head says, when did we say that we will not initiate it? We will surely start it, but we will start marketing the medicines after making them. Then the focus will be put on your project. So she forbids both of them. They both are disheartened on this because they were both genetic engineers who could not serve for a company for making the medicine through the animal's protein. So they plan to continue their experiments secretly. So they take initiatives for their work, but they needed the DNA of a female human to take their work ahead. So Elsa brings the DNA of someone for Clive. Clive asks, whom does this DNA belong? Elsa tells this DNA belongs to a stranger and they conduct experiments on the human DA and their created creature's DNA. They struggle hard but remain unsuccessful. Due to this, they get worried. One day, Elsa brings one more DNA. She tells that it is the perfect DNA. So we will experiment on this DNA. Then they experiment on human DNA and animals' DNA. After a great struggle, their experiment was looking progressed. It means that the DNA of human and animal were mixing with each other. Now they had a unique DNA now, which had been created with the mixture of human and animal DNA. Clive did not want to continue his research because it was illegal. However, Elsa held a contrary perspective. She wished to continue with this research, so she moves to laboratory taking that DNA. There was a machine in that room, which began to produce the animals and human after putting DNA in it. It means any animal continued to grow in that machine. Then Elsa puts that DNA in that machine. Clive warns Elsa. It is not legal which we are doing to create someone then kill him. Elsa says that number of the people lose their life daily in this world and someone's life may be protected because of our experiments. So Clive agrees with Elsa, and they continue their experiment. But the shocking fact is this, the expected kid who had to grow slowly in the machine, it was growing rapidly. They know that kid is physically healthy, but the alarm of that laboratory beeps in evening. Going there, 
They know that child had developed completely. It means that he is fully developed to come out of the machine. So they pull it out, which was looking weird. Clive wanted to kill this creature. Elsa says, we should not take this step right now because it is possible that we may create a creature perfectly. But Clive does not agree with Elsa. So they move to that place where that creature was present because they yearned to end it. Going there, they come to know as it is already dead. So Clive leaves from there and Elsa says, it is out of danger now. So Elsa opens that box and while checking, she knows that there is not any kid or creature, but just a skin. It means a creature has come out from that skin, which is in the laboratory at that time. Then that mysterious creature is shown having two feet. Clive casts a glance at that creature. He says to Elsa, come outside immediately. I am releasing the toxic gas. But Elsa does not follow Clive's words and she says to that creature, I will not harm of any type. Don't be afraid. Hearing it, that mysterious creature comes close to Elsa without any fear. But Clive approaches there from the backside, holding a rod. Seeing him, that creature fills in anger. Then Clive and Elsa leave that place. Clive says to Elsa, I am releasing the toxic gas because I don't want to let this creature live. I want to kill it. Elsa says on it, we will just make it unconscious because I want to observe my creature. So they knock it out and start inspecting. Then they know that this creature is actually a female, which is fastly growing. And a time will come when it will be dead after its complete growth. It means its lifespan is short and that creature was gradually growing. Its hands and feet are grown and its mind is also developed. And Elsa was attaching with it emotionally. She feeds it and teaches the different course of action. One day, Elsa hands over that creature, many alphabets toy. And Elsa says to it, arrange these alphabets in such a way that my name may be written. But that creature spells out nerd. It was the name of this company because it had observed those spelling on Elsa's shirt. Witnessing it, Elsa is much excited because it was understanding the things now. Then Clive comes there who never liked this creature. He asks, who brought this creature out? Keep it inside and its tail should also be covered. In fact, that creature had a long tail. Elsa says to Clive, don't call it animal. Clive says, why should I say to it? She says, call it Dren, because it has recently spelled out the word nerd, which is Dren if it is reversed. One day, Clive's brother also glimpses Dren, and the reality of Dren is exposed before him. They send Dren into farmhouse because they could not keep it there. Now that time approaches, when Clive and Elsa had to represent themselves before the head of the company. The presentation was on previously created creatures by them. When they bring the both creatures before company's head for presentation, then both creatures begin to fight each other. They are dead during this battle and they are disheartened because of this incident. Then they find the logic behind the fight of those. Then they know that the female creature had converted into male itself, changing its gender because that creature had the DNA of an animal, which could change their gender after converting themselves. Clive and Elsa did not detect it because they were involved with their another experimental subject, Dren, and they did not let them involve. Dren, which has grown up, and Elsa used to deal with it, considering it a child. She teaches it everything while loving. One day, Dren flees to the forest. When Clive and Elsa go to discover it, they observe that Dren has ended a hare and it is eating it. After that, they bring it at home. Dren does not take meal when Elsa offers it, but it says, 
I have fed up because of this boring place. She does not express it while uttering, but she spells out tedious using those alphabets that I'm feeling much boredom here. Then she moves up, tearing the roof. Then Elsa and Clive also go after it. They observe that Dren has grown wings and it is nearly to fly, Clive says to it. Stop, we have affections for you. We need you, we will keep you. Hearing it, Dren's wings are contracted into its body. Dren's mind was quick-witted now. It had started to understand the things, discriminating the good and evil. Once, Dren finds a cat, but Elsa takes it away from it, because Elsa feared that Dren may not kill that cat. Then, a surprising fact comes on the scene with the passage of time, that Dren was taking interest in Clive. Then it is revealed to Clive that the inserted human DNA in Dren it was not of anyone's else, but belonged to Elsa. Clive gets angry from Elsa because of this act. He says to her, you acted badly. You should not have had to do it. Elsa's love was diminishing for Dren with the passage of time. So Elsa hands over that cat to Dren, having a pointed tail. Dren kills that cat while pricking its tail in cat's neck. Elsa loses her temper seeing it, and she slaps Dren. Being slapped, Dren pounces Elsa. Taking the key in Elsa's neck, it unlocks the door and leaves from there. The facts of Dren were being revealed before them. Then it is witnessed that Elsa had succeeded to extract that protein, which was the assigned task for her by the company. One day, Clivy is watching a footage on the screen of his laptop that, as where is Dren? Dren is in the water at that time. Now Clive had also started to take interest in Dren, and he touches his laptop screen. Contrarily, Dren also touches the camera. It means it touches the hand of Clive's hand, because she had known that Clive is casting a glance at her. Seeing it, Clive is left shocked. Then it is seen that Clive has come at the place, farmhouse, where Dren was living. Clive had come alone there without Elsa. Clive calls Dren, but he does not catch its sight. Turing back, Clive finds Dren standing at his back. Then Dren says to Clive while coming near him, I have feelings for you. Clive says on it, no, it is wrong. Now Clive had also feelings for Dren, so he is unable to hide them. At the same time, Elsa comes there. She feels heinous when she encounters them together, so she leaves from there in fury. Dren's tail was pointed, which may be the threat for anyone, so Elsa cuts its tail, and she is very grieved. Here, both repent on their mistake, as they should not have had created this creature. Elsa says... I have created that protein which was required by the company, and it is in the body of Dren, in a large quantity. Now they both plan to end Dren. Going to Dren, they see that Dren is already nearly to die. At first sight, Dren dies. Because it is in knowledge that its lifespan was limited, they bury it nearby place after its death. After burial, Clive's brother arrives there, there was another employee along with Clive's brother, and Clive's brother also used to serve the same company. Clive's brother says, I know that you both have created a creature. It looks like the human beings, because the human DNA is also there in your provided protein to the company. Now I want to glimpse your created creature. They tell, it is dead. Even we have also buried it. Then someone's loud shriek is heard, and this voice was coming from that direction where they had buried Dren, so they hurriedly run towards that direction. They observe that Dren is not there at its burial place. It was rather standing on the roof. It means that it had revived. It was looking might and also dangerous. Its wings has also grown and tail has also reproduced. 
because it had been cut by Elsa. Then Dren attacks them at that time, and it puts Clive's brother and his accompanied employee into death. And Clive loses his consciousness during this dispute. Then Dren captures Elsa, coming to her. Here it is revealed that Dren had also changed its gender. Because it has the DNA of that animal which could convert itself, changing its gender. Converting into male, it came to Elsa, but Clive thrusts a piece of wood into Dren coming from backside. Consequently, Dren is wounded, so it leaves Elsa. Afterward, it attacks Clive after pulling that piece of wood from it. Then Elsa throws a stone on Dren, lifting it. Then Elsa again throws a stone on it, but she stops immediately and she begins thinking. We are ending it with our same hands which created them. Elsa also thinks it. It has also my DNA. Getting a chance, Dren kills Clive with its tail. Elsa again targets Dren, throwing a stone. At last, Dren is ended. After this, Elsa and her head are shown. It is observed that Elsa is expecting a baby and it is the baby belonged to Dren because of its conversion of gender. Elsa's head tells, your provided protein had profited the company. Now company wishes to advance this research and the expected baby of Elsa was the source to advance this research. Now Elsa struggled hard for this company after taking risks and losing her husband. So company grants a huge payment to Elsa. As being a genetic engineer, Elsa wished to advance this research reluctantly. And the movie also ends on this scene. Thank you for watching.